Welcome back to the Simpleton Review. It's time to do a movie, aren't we all excited? And what better way to start doing our movies again when the theaters have finally opened back up with the amazing, tremendous, released in the movie theaters, but also released on Netflix, the Dave Bautista classic, Army of the Dead. Oh, yeah. Army of the Dead is a 2021 American zombie heist Movie. I'm just reading from Wikipedia here. Zombie heist movie. Okay. Uh, directed by Zack Snyder, of course. Everybody knows who Zack Snyder is at this point in time. The famous Zack Snyder cut. All right. Uh, from <laughs> he he co-wrote the screenplay with a guy named Shay Hatton and Joby Harold, uh, based on a story he also created. And it's got Dave Bautista, Ella Purnell, uh, Tignataro, Theo Rossi. Um, there's a lot of names here that I can't even pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh, but it follows a group of mercenaries who plan a Las Vegas casino heist amid a zombie apocalypse. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the Army of the Dead. Okay, there you have it. So let's see. Uh, it had a $90 million production budget. Budget. That's it. That's amazing, actually. That's pretty crazy. Look, um, it's an interesting movie. I'm going to talk about this movie first because I'm going to get it out of the way so you guys can hash it out after I'm done. So... Look, Army of Darkness actually, in my mind, wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, okay? I think there was a few things they did. Now, it, you guys all have to know, it is a zombie movie. The, but The Army of Darkness was actually it. <laughs> did I say Army movie. of Darkness? I got it in yeah. my head. Maybe maybe I wish I was actually watching the Army of Darkness when I was watching this movie. Uh, give me some sugar, Cannibal, baby. It's Cannibal, bro. It's Cannibal. Right. <laughs> See, this is my boomstick. See this? This is my boomstick. All right. Uh, there's quotable lines in Army of Darkness. Army of Dead only wishes they had quotable lines. Okay. All right. So this is my, my comments on the movie. My comments is, one, the opening sequence was way too long. Okay. There was like, okay, let's see how many ways we can squirt blood in other directions. But you are still not. We're talking about Army of Darkness 2 here. You are not Sam Raimi, Zach. Okay. You don't know how to spit blood all over the place. If you want to know how to do that, go talk to Sam and watch his Evil Dead movies. You might know how to do it more effectively than what you did in this movie. Okay. Now, the opening sequence, which was about 20 minutes long, was about 20 minutes too long. Okay, you could have gotten all of that out of the way within about 30 seconds of the opening track. Why, Zach, do you have to make every movie three hours long? This movie could have been wrapped up nicely in about 80 minutes. Okay, it wasn't necessary to go through this whole spiel after you get done with the opening sequence to tell everybody how you're finding all of your heist partners. That took another 45 minutes to get out of the way. I mean, that was just stupid. I don't have to know all of them. Just pick them up, drive into the freaking city and get the money. Okay, that's all I want to know. How do you get the money from the zombies? Is that fair? Now, on to the cool parts of it, right? Okay, the special effects were freaking amazing. Uh, that tiger was really cool and actually quite yes. unique, okay? I, I've never yeah. seen a zombie yeah. tiger before. Zombie that was tiger. cool. Yeah, no, the zombie tiger was pretty freaking amazing. Um, Especially when you ate the guy that you really wanted yes, to eat. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was well worth it. And, and it's funny because that guy that played that character actually plays in uh, – Fear the Walking Dead, the series. He's in that. So oh. he's like a zombie movie guy. But he plays a really good guy in the Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, but yeah, he 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 plays a terrible, terrible character. And Tig Notaro, though, he now let me all before we started recording was talking about he felt like Tig Notaro scenes just did not work. Tig Notaro is freaking funny in this show, man. And now whole scene when he she's trying to get the helicopter ready. Oh yeah, it's fine. We're ready. It's great. Okay, but and, and Dave Batista, look, Dave. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, dude, don't act anymore. You are not the worst actor I've ever he, seen. He wasn't acting. <laughs> he wasn't. Yeah, you're not the worst actor I've ever seen. I mean, I will I, look. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much more about you, Dave. You, my fav, one of my favorite characters was actually the German locksmith. That guy was really guy good. Was, I yeah. really, really liked him. Uh, but there were so many weird things. Like, I mean, 
you know, this whole that love zombie, zombie love scene and whole what things like I don't know. I'm just like, well, there's alpha zombies, right? I mean, that's the whole point of. But uh, again, well, and, that, and that they had the alpha, they they had the zombie baby. Yeah, that was the point. Oh. But then they they cut that scene down to nothing, and it's like, okay, good. I yeah. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was there was odd. But now now the destruction of Las Vegas and the special effects revolved around that was actually really cool as well. So, Zach, don't do these movies this long. You just you just don't have to. Okay, seriously. I mean, I'm not a big Michael Bay fan, but at least he knows how to keep his movies relatively short. Okay, so I consider you kind of a Michael Bay ish type of a director, right? You love these big action blockbusters. I may actually have to say Michael Bay is better than you, and that hurts me deep inside. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Now, I've said my two cents. Lemuel, what about you? <laughs> you need to keep your movies concise. If it's going to be two hours and 45 minutes long, give me a reason to watch for two hours and 45 minutes, guy. Three hours! Oh, my gosh! I did not care. I had z none of the characters. I cared for none of them. You <laughs> made me care for none of the characters. The dialogue made me care even less for the characters. <laughs> and the fact that you tried to pull this Fast and Furious 8 type garbage where they're like, oh, we're getting the crew back together. Oh, family's stronger. No, shut up. I want to <laughs> see zombies. I don't want to see a heist. I want to see things getting shot and murdered and i want to see people flying away to a nuke exploding in the background that's all i wanted yeah i mean okay yeah i have i have more comments about the nuke explosion thing too but i won't i i i've <laughs> charlie go ahead controlled nuke the controlled <laughs> nuke <laughs> charlie go ahead go ahead no, we're gonna uh, you got you guys pretty much nailed it on everything <laughs> the only things that i liked about it was uh all the comments, like when when uh, when uh, you know they're going through the serious scenes and like they're running from the zombies and stuff, and he's finally trying to connect with his daughter, and he's like, "Yeah, I think about the restaurant again." Yeah. And he'll bring up like, maybe I should do like a, a tapas restaurant, or maybe 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 Cajun, maybe with shrimp, and I, could, I I know I could do crab rolls and lobster rolls. Quips from Dave Batista and 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 obviously the 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 uh, flyer. Uh, I love all of her gags. They're all nice, deadpan, slow, like catch you off guard. I really didn't like this movie. Getting yeah. from point A to point B to point C was so difficult yeah. and so pointless. Uh, and yeah. And like, yeah. And it wasn't even like a cool blow things up kind of movie. It was just like uh, no, there was a mess. There was a couple of scenes that were worth it. Like when that one girl kind of gets, you know, that the dude was mean and like wakes up the zombies and that she's around. That was actually kind of cool. You know, that whole little yeah, that's scene cool. right there. That still makes me angry because they could have saved her. There was no way. This is a Titanic. Uh, Jack's holding on to the door, and clearly there was room for him on that door. It's the same Not unless situation. somebody was pounding his fingers to get him off. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm going to let you go, Jack. <laughs> like but they could have cut a good hour off of this movie if they would have not made the whole beginning scene a thing. We didn't have to see every single character be picked up by Dave Bautista. It just didn't make any sense. Oh, and the whole oh. big miniature scale model that the businessman had. <laughs> Why does he have this? What, what, what do you mean? What, where did this come from? And finally, I was like, at least they, 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 they made a comment to kind of draw, you know, attention to that fact. Because I'm looking at that thing, going, we're in a post-apocalyptic society, and this guy goes out of his way to make a scale model of the hotel that they're gonna go have the heist in. I just couldn't believe it. It's like, okay, whatever. I and the know. whole thing with the political refugees, like, why? The whole thing was just a reason for the characters to get in. I, yeah. After that, no one cared. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. That's accurate. So, uh, I hate to ask, <laughs> but we've got to give our scores <laughs> for Army of the Dead. Uh, Charlie, you first. I'll give it a one. <laughs> 
It's not a movie I'd ever watch again. It's not a movie I w- Have we ever given place. anything a one before here in the history of the Simpleton Review? I don't think we have. I don't think, I don't think I don't we've ever this. given a one. This may be... Oh, I, th- I think even BTS beat it. I think... Because yeah. like we were thinking we were going to rate that one low, and we actually gave it a better score. I think we're making history here, boys. Lemuel? <laughs> it's going to get a one, guys. I would almost rather watch James Cameron's Avatar than this movie. Ooh, and I hated handsome. that movie. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be generous. I'm giving it a 1.5. 1.5. And what? and that is that's only because of the tiger. The point I five point earned. The point, point five is because earned. of the yes. tiger. Other than that, this movie can go suck it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's I, terrible. I give the fu- I give the tiger a five. Yeah, yeah, the tiger gets a five. Yeah. Okay, if 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 we took everything out of this movie and just left the tiger scenes, dude, this movie wins an Academy Award. Best picture, baby. Yeah. Bru- but as it is uh, as it- short film. <laughs> it's it's shorter than a music video if we just left the tiger in there, that's it. No, because they have the like the scenes where it majestically walks to the edge of the building and like looks around. Zach, Zach, here's what I got to say to you, buddy. You, you, your reputation was kind of like, you know, we didn't know what to think of you when you walked off the set of Justice League. Okay. Now you saved that movie from what I hear. I have not seen the Zack Snyder edit, but people say you saved it, but they also say you made it three and a half hours long. Why? I don't know, but it's three and a half hours long. Now people love it. They love the Zack Snyder. Now, what is it that you've got to just... In, in in about two months time go from the pinnacle of your career to rock freaking bottom why do you do that to yourself dude seriously I mean you are a good director when you want to be this is terrible I would rather watch an ABC after school special from the 1980s than this thing okay why did you even make this movie right I don't un- why why and Dave Batista would rather play this character than play uh, Drac again he what do you think, like, Dave? Okay. You explain, acted better as Drac. Why. He didn't like the makeup. He's too old for that. Right. That's accurate. That's accurate. So, all right. As you guys can tell, we really liked Army of the Dead. And we oh, want to know movie. We want to know what you think of Army of the Dead. Please leave your comments and let us know if you think we're full of crap and you thought it was the best zombie movie ever made. Uh, hint, it's not. Um, or, <laughs> or, you know, just tell us what you think. Yeah. Uh, look. You want to watch a good zombie movie? Go watch 28 Night Days of Later. Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead. 28, yes. 28 Days Later is fantastic. Go watch that movie. That was a good movie. All right. I'm Nate. That's Charlie. That's Len. Thank you so much for joining us here at The Simpleton Review. We are very opinionated, but we're thank you for listening to us. Go uh, check out our website, simpletonreview.com. If you like what we, what we do, please become a Patreon subscriber. We would love to have you on board. That way you can say that you're a simpleton too. We look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great time. Bye-bye.